Elite Facts presents London's most haunted train stations that will freak you out. Now, we know what you're thinking. Surely there's not enough London underground stations and locations that can fill up a full list, right? Well, surprisingly, London's underground has quite the dark history behind it. A majority of the stations in London are reportedly haunted in many different ways, and we think it's definitely worth looking into. Here are London's most haunted train stations that will freak you out. 6. Embankment First up, we have the Embankment Station, which can be found not too far from Waterloo Bridge. It's been said that Embankment is one of the underground network's busiest interchanges, behind King's Cross, obviously. But like most stations on this list, it's no stranger to paranormal happenings, as something strange is reportedly going on behind the scenes. Countless employees and contractors over the years have reported strange noises, lights, and apparitions. Other reports have included doors opening and closing on their own, and sudden and unexplained gusts of wind. It has been said that these experiences are mainly reported in a disused tunnel that runs under the Thames, Pages Walk. The history behind this haunted location dates way back to 1938, when six passengers met their end after two trains collided in the tunnel. Some people think that they've never left. It's pretty freaky to say the least, but this is only the tip of the iceberg on this list. 5. Baker Street Next up, we have Baker Street Station, which is located at Regent's Park in the center of London. Reports started circulating that this location was haunted when an experienced patrolman came forward with a chilling story that would raise the hairs on anyone's arms. The patrolman was completing a routine track walk between Baker Street and St. John's Wood, and as he sat down to take a well-needed break from his routine, he heard loud, echoing footsteps approaching his general direction. The footsteps continued right in front of him and off into the distance before disappearing. When he managed to regain his composure and speak to a colleague, he learned that he was far from the first to have had this experience. So what's the story behind this one? Well, as it turns out, records show that at least five workers lost their lives on this stretch of track. Could it have been the ghost of one of the dead workers that the patrolman heard? Is the station haunted by them? We'll probably never know. 4. British Museum Next up, we have what might be the craziest story on this list. Many people have reported seeing a spirit from a different country of origin when passing through this location. Apparently, the long-abandoned British Museum stop is home to the ghost of the ancient Egyptian god Amun-Ra. Now, yes, this does sound insane, but remember, we are talking about a museum. Anything is possible. People have blamed the disappearance of two women from Holborn Station in the 1930s on this spirit. 3. King's Cross Now, you knew King's Cross was going to be on this list. This massive train station is bound to have a few chilling tales tied to its long history, right? Well, one tale in particular features a cosmopolitan young woman with long brown hair wearing modern clothing. This woman is said to walk the corridors of one of London's busiest stations. The lady is said to scream loudly with arms outstretched, but when people come to her aid, she disappears into thin air. Creepy, right? Well, the first sighting of this frightening apparition was in 1988, when a commuter saw a woman who appeared to be in distress, and when he walked over to comfort her, he passed right through her when he reached her. Ever since then, many more people have reported similar experiences with this ghostly apparition in the exact same spot of the station. Now there might be an explanation to this. Back in 1987, King's Cross had a horrific fire that took the lives of many, and many believe that the woman who was spotted on multiple occasions may have been one of the victims of the tragedy. 2. Elephant and Castle Next up, we have Elephant and Castle Station, and we're just going to come out and say it. This station is pretty damn freaky. The reason we say that is because this station is the home to a variety of unexplained sightings. Elephant and Castle might just be London's most haunted tube station, and considering what we've already mentioned on this list, that's saying a lot. Workers at the station and members of the public have all reported hearing the sprinting footsteps of an unseen being along the platforms, doors being slammed open, and curious tapping noises. 
with many attributing these occurrences to the ghost of a young lady who enters trains but never leaves. A tube driver said he witnessed this ghostly apparition firsthand. Quote, at around 6 p.m. at the Baker Loo Line Underground Station, I was in pursuit of my duties as an employee of London Underground. I joined the train at the terminus at Elephant and Castle and walked forward to the front of the train with a view to traveling with the driver. At this point, the driver had not arrived, so I put my bag down and moved to the rear door to wait for him. While I was waiting, a girl got into the carriage. She walked straight through the carriage, and I had to move aside, making some muttered apologies. Apology. I sort of had to do that since I was in uniform. What's even more freaky is the fact that there's no historical event that's tied to this spirit. That alone just makes this story ten times creepier. 1. Highgate Finally, we have Highgate Station, which can be found not too far away from Highgate Woods. This one is just plain bizarre, and it has left local residents nonplussed for years. Now, the sound of trains moving through a train station probably doesn't strike you as particularly odd. But when the abandonment of a planned extension of the Northern Line left one section of railway unused and the rails removed, the sound of trains passing through continued, which we think we can all agree is pretty odd. The Northern Line extension project plans were shelved at the end of the 1940s, following the renovation of Highgate Station and these unexplained train noises have been occurring ever since. Yeah, if we lived nearby, we'd probably be looking for somewhere else to live. Not so much because of the hauntings, but because of the loud train noises. And that's our list. Did we leave any out that you know about? Well, let us know in the comments below. Please remember to subscribe and tap the bell button to be notified when new videos are uploaded. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like us and subscribe for more Elite Facts. Thank you.